if you notice here, you have this here, okay, the face of God, okay, the face of the Bible speaks many times about the face of God or the presence of God, okay, the face of God is the same thing as the spirit of God, okay, it is the same thing as, it is the same thing as the face of God, it's the same thing as the spirit of God, it is the same thing as the person of God, and it is the same thing as the way of thinking of God. That was never has never been revealed before, okay? This is the answer that people have been looking for. This is what people call the mystery, okay? Because now there is no mystery because I told you what it is, okay? This is all here is the same thing, the, the same thing of, of God, okay? And it doesn't say the faces of God or the spirits of God or the persons of God or the way of, ways of thinking of God. When he's talking about God, he's talking about one person, okay? The person of God, just like the person of Christ, okay? The person of Christ is the way of thinking of Christ, okay? Like your way of thinking. You have a person, okay? You have a person. You are not a person. I could say you are a person, but you have to understand what I mean, okay? You are a human being, okay? Once you know, once you know this, spirituality vanishes, right? Because it's, spirituality is a, is, a, is a vapor, it's something, an illusion, something that was created, a, a world that was created that is not real, okay? And what I mean by that is the spiritual, the spiritual world, okay? Because spirit does not mean invisible entity in some dimension. It means a way of thinking. It means person, okay? Persona, okay? The persona, all right? Let me let me go now to give you to give you some facts, okay? Facts. I want you to know that. I had these revelations, I had this awakening, something happened to me and it, you know, and it, and it took a long time before this happened to me, but it happened to me in a flash. And I knew all these things, all these things, I, I knew them in a flash, okay? And then I began to do my research and I put two and two together and that was the answer. But uh, people are stubborn, people are very stubborn. I'm going to show you, now I'm going to give you facts, so you, I mean, if you don't, I'm not going to, I'm not all right, I had another, I had another, it said Persona series, it was something else. So this is the definition here in uh, Wikipedia for Persona, okay? And you could look, you could see it here. And you could look it up in any book, it doesn't matter where you look it up, that's the meaning of the word, okay? A Persona, okay, in the world, in the, in the words everyday use, uses, is a social role or a character played by an actor. Uh, this here, character, this is wrong. A persona is not the character. Okay, and I will explain the difference. The word is derived from Latin, where it originally, right there you see, originally, I don't have the highlighter there, but, uh, originally referred to a, uh, right there, the theatrical mask. Okay, you see the mask pop up. You see the mask there, right? Uh, and then you could read, like I said, you could read the Latin word probably derived from uh, the Etruscan word pursue with the same meaning. And that's from the Greek word, like I said, prosopon. Okay, I don't know if it's pronounced like that. Okay, prosopon. Okay. You see, even it, it even says it here, okay, its meaning in the in the latter Roman period changed to indicate a character. Okay, so even from there it changed. Okay, the, to to indicate the character, but it's not the character, and there's a there's a difference. Okay, so it's telling you right there. Okay, the character of a theatrical performance. Okay, I mean the history. You could read a lot about this. Just this word. Okay.